Okay, so welcome to Math Tutorial and let's have this topic. So finding the derivative using the chain rule, then we have this given y equals the quantity of 4x minus 10 to the power 4. So to find the derivative using this formula, so u to the power n, that's n times u to the power n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So for this given, this is u. So u is equal to 4x minus 10. Then to find the derivative of u, so the derivative of 4x, so we just need to drop this x. So this one is 4. And for the derivative of constant, this one is 0. So therefore, the derivative of u is equal to 4. So using this formula to find the derivative, so we have now y prime equals n. So this exponent is n. So we have 4 times u. So u is 4x minus 10. Then n minus 1. So 4 minus 1. This one is 3. Then times the derivative of u. So the derivative of u, that's 4. Then simplify. So we have y prime equals. So this 4 times 4. This one is 16. Then times 4x minus 10 to the power 3. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so this is u. So u equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then to find the derivative of u, so the derivative of 3x squared, so we have 2 times 3. This one is 6, then x minus 1 for the exponent, so 2 minus 1, that's 1. Then minus the derivative of 2x, so we just need to drop this x. This one is 2, and the derivative of constant, this one is 0. So therefore, the derivative of u is 6x minus 2. So to find out the derivative using this formula, so we have y prime equals n, so n is the exponent, so we have 6, then times u, so u is 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, then to the power n minus 1. So 6 minus 1, this one is 5, then times the derivative of u. So the derivative of u, this one is 6x minus 2. Then simplify, so we have y prime equals, so this 6 times 6x, this one is 36x. Then 6 times negative 2, that's negative 12. Then times this 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the power 5. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so since the derivative of sine is cosine u times the derivative of u, so therefore u is equal to 2x minus 7. So u is equal to 2x minus 7, then the derivative of u so the derivative of 2x, so just drop this x, this one is 2. And the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So du is equal to 2. So to find out the derivative, so we have y prime equals, so we just need to bring down this constant, that's 4. Then for the derivative of sine, that's cosine, so we have cosine u and u is 2x minus 7 times the derivative of u times 2. So therefore, y prime is equal to 4 times 2, this one is 8, then cosine 
2x minus 7. So, this is now the derivative. Then, for this given, so for the derivative of tangent, that's second squared u times du. So, for this given, this is u. So, u is equal to x squared plus 3x. Then, for the derivative of u, so the derivative of x squared, so since we have this imaginary uh, coefficient 1, so 1 times 2, this 1 is 2. Then, x, so minus 1 for the exponent, so x to the power 1. Then, plus the derivative of 3x, so we just need to drop this x, so this 1 is 3. So, therefore, du is equal to 2x plus 3. So, to find out the derivative, so we have y prime equals, so since the derivative of tangent, that's second squared. So, we have second squared, then u, so u is equal to x squared plus 3x, then times the derivative of u, so the derivative of u, that's 2x plus 3. So, therefore, y prime is equal equal to 2x plus 3, then we have second squared, x squared plus 3x. So this is now the derivative.